words to know. Use a blue word to tell a story about a picture. Our. We like to play our games together. Today. The music class will practice today. She. She likes to draw with her sister. Now. They eat lunch now. Later, they will play. Her. She took food for her lunch out of the bag. Would. Would you like to play with us? Read and comprehend. Target skill. Sequence of events. The events in a story are told in an order that makes sense. The sequence of events is what happens first, next, and last. Use a chart like this one to tell the order of the story events. Target strategy. Analyze, evaluate. Tell what you think and how you feel about the story. Use text evidence to tell why. Preview the topic. Music. There are many ways to make music. You can play instruments. You can sing songs. You may clap your hands to a beat. Did you ever tap on a drum? Did you ever blow a horn? You will read about children making music in a music day. A music day written by Jardine Nolan. Essential question. How is music part of your everyday life? Mom and dad will go on a trip today. Our aunt Viv will be with us. Tom and I are glad. We get a big hug from Aunt Viv. She is lots of fun. We clap, hap, and sing. Glenn and Meg get here. Now Aunt Viv has a plan. She has a big bag. A lot can fit in her bag. What is in it? Would you kids like to play music? Aunt Viv said. Yes, we yell. Meg and I make guitars to pluck. Tom and Glenn make drums to tap. Tom, Glenn, Meg and I are a band. It is fun to make music with Aunt Viv. Comprehension. Dig deeper. How to analyze the text. Use these pages to learn more about sequence of events and narrator. Then read the music day again. Sequence of events. A music day tells about what happens when Aunt Viv comes to visit. Think about the important events in the story. What happens first, next, and last? This order is called the sequence of events. Use a chart like this one to show the order of events in the story. Narrator. Sometimes a character tells the story. This character is the narrator. The narrator may use words like I, me, and my. Which character in a music day tells the beginning of the story? How do you know? Look for text evidence in the words and pictures. Who tells the story on pages 86, 87? Who tells the rest of the story? Your turn. 
Return to the essential question. Turn and talk. How is music part of your everyday life? How do the story characters feel about music? Tell the story to your partner like Aunt Vivi would tell it. Use the pictures to help you tell what happens first, next and last. Classroom conversation. Now talk about these questions with your class. 1. What happens at the beginning? 2. What do the children do after Aunt Vivi gets there? 3. What did the children do that you also like to do? Why do you like it? Write about reading. Response. Why do you think the children like Aunt Viv? Write sentence to tell what do you think. Give reasons why. Use text evidence such as words and details that tell what Aunt Viv is like. Writing tip. Add adjectives to help describe Aunt Viv. Informational text gives facts about a topic. It can be from a textbook, article, or a website. Sometimes informational text can tell you how to do something. What does the article tell you how to do? A diagram is a drawing that can show how something works. Find the diagram of a drum. Drums by Tim Paino. People around the world play drums. Yolanda Martinez plays drums. She makes drums too. She sells her drums. All drums have a frame. They have a drum head too. Drummers use a beater stick to play this drum. Parts of a drum. Drum head, frame, beater stick. Make a drum. Would you like to make a drum today? Try this. 1. Get an empty coffee can or an oatmeal cartoon. 2. Tape paper around the sides. 3. Now tape brown paper over the top. We like to play our drums. Compare texts. Text to text. Making music. How do people in the stories share what they like to do? How do they make music? How do they make instruments? Share details. Text to self. Discuss music. Tell how you like to make music. Take turns talking. Listen to each other's ideas. Text to world. Communication. Think about what you learn in drums and insect messages. Can drums be a way to communicate? Tell why or why not. Grammar. Statements. A sentence that tells something is called a statement. A statement begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. The children like to make music. They play for their class. One girl taps a drum. Try this. Find the three statements. Write them correctly on another sheet of paper. 1. My friends play in a band. 2. Sits at his drum set. 3. She plucks a guitar. 4. The very best singer. 5. They have a lot of fun. Grammar in writing. When you Proof read your writing, be sure each statement begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. Informative writing. Word choice. Tell what you are thankful for, 
when you write a thank you note. Use exact adjectives to make your ideas clear. Beth wrote a note. Later, she changed the word good to adjectives that are more exact. Revised draft. Thank you for the new hat. It is good. It is soft and warm. Writing traits checklist. Word choice. Did I use exact adjectives? Does my thank you note have all five parts? Did I use capital letters and periods correctly? Look for adjectives in Beth's final copy. Then revise your writing. Use the checklist. Final copy. November 1st, 2014. Dear Aunt Jess, Thank you for the new hat. It is soft and warm. It has purple stripes just like my mittens. Love, Beth.